things you know, to be burned and, down. Me and Ludwig saw Daniel Tosh live a couple days ago. Really? He's still alive? Really? He's still around. He's this still kicking. Real. Where's my what? fucking... What is, is my phone it was, broken? It was, whoa, a, whoa, whoa, it was whoa. Both of these are the same thing. It was a double date. Okay. But but also, you're in trouble. What did and, I well, do? Well, if you don't know, there's a comedy <laughs> fest in town. Netflix is a joke. I'm not you in know trouble. You no, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> my girlfriend has messaged you you're, about... You're, eight, eight your eight bitch wife my, has nothing on me. <laughs> you take that back. My, my wife... My wife will put you in the ground. You, you hear me? My beautiful wife has well, asked I you... Will. She asked you. She asked you to go to eight comedy shows. You said no to everyone and said every comedian she offered sucks. Eight is such a horrible, horrible lie of a number for that... <laughs> Three is Tosh.0 a bad comedian? Uh, Daniel Tosh, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched him since Tosh.0. Oh. Yeah, to be clear, it's I It's funny you call him Tosh.0. Oh. Did I? Just like, that's what we know him <laughs> that's as. That's all he has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calling Ash and Cooker, like, punked. Yeah. <laughs> Punk's the yeah. guy. Punk got, got, wrote that letter to the, the Weinstein kids. I was fucked up. Uh, <laughs> to be clear, I didn't say yes to Daniel Tosh because I think he's a hilarious comedian. Yep. Who found this? Somebody just Cutie, like, Cutie's been going to every show. Like every a, every it's just a bunch a of big, Netflix yeah. comedy shows in a row. Yeah. Uh, she said, "She said, do you want to go to this one?" And I was like, "No, I'm tired. Have Daniel go." And then she's like, "Is it because she's a woman comedian?" And I'm like, "Okay, here we go." And then <laughs> was it was it, it Ali Wong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she asked me to go to Ali Wong. Why didn't you go? Because I was busy. Because was a woman. Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, because. Of the and then and then she was like, "It actually was really not. It was really mid, so you didn't miss much." I'm like, "Cool." And then she kept asking me, like, do you want to see this person, this person? And it was two other people. That sounds awful. Mm. And uh, I was what like... What a fucking a-hole she is. I don't know. Why would she do Oh, all my that? God. She's not. She's, she's, she's a bitch wife. <laughs> no, you don't get to say that. <laughs> why? Because she's, she's not, not his wife. Well, how, about, then how about you bend <laughs> out on one fucking day tomorrow, 1 p.m. Yeah, Tuesday? You do have to call her my bitch girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Until later. Are you mad at you? <laughs> well, I, I bring up the, the comedy show, because if you think Ludwig is a riot... When uh, we're watching a when movie. When he's watching a movie, like a horror Wait, movie. Uh, oh, when we're watching a comedy show, he is... We can't hold your shit together. I, Dr. Chucklefuck over here. I have a part. I have a laugh that I do when I watch uh -huh. stuff. Can you there, was a, there was a part. It, it, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, he goes, he goes, ha, ha. <laughs> I go, you did it I go if, it's, if it's funny, I go, ha. That's, that's funny. If it's really funny, I go, ha, ha. And then if he it's does it really, really funny, I might drop a triple. He does it during downtime. Why don't like, you just? He'll laugh? pick moments that nobody else is laughing. At. I'll give you an example. And then you'll you'll just example. let it rip. We went to see Jerry Seinfeld live with Cutie and her whole family. Jerry Seinfeld makes out with a seventeen-year-old girl. That was twenty minutes of a I have a question. Why did you guys go see Jerry Seinfeld? Because her family is older. <laughs> okay. And Jerry Seinfeld was probably he a more exciting wheel, in a wheelchair. <laughs> it, was also, it was also three other, it was Jim Gaffigan, Jerry yeah. Seinfeld, and some Italian guy they really liked. Mario. Who talks like he's from New Jersey <laughs> on crack. Why did that give me? Yeah, <laughs> Why did feel that? Uh, and so we, we went to see them and then one of the guys, not Jerry, had a joke and he was like, yeah, in 2001 I had a job uh, right after 9-11. And then I laughed. <laughs> and I was at the Hollywood Bowl with 17,000 people Nobody laughed. Perfect, <laughs> perfect acoustics and just like <laughs> one lone voice echoed through Hollywood. Uh -huh. going, uh -huh. Why don't you just laugh normal, like laugh yeah. at the jokes when I they, thought that was the joke. That's okay. That happens sometimes. And but, I thought it was funny. But you, you're a per, you're a perpetrator of this at a, at a lot of things. I just think a lot of things are funny. No, you Sue actually me. don't. Arrest me, officer. Dude, I do. I like you just holding your breath the whole time and you let the single uh -huh. out. <laughs> it's just breathing. <laughs> when when uh, so when when the comedian asks rhetorical questions to the audience, Ludwig. Was answering them out loud? No fucking way. <laughs> sometimes, and, and to be fair, sometimes they weren't rhetorical. Sometimes Daniel Tosh expected people to answer in the crowd. Yeah. But and we got foreskin in here. There, there, was, one, foreskin. there was one part where where uh, Daniel goes, "What's your favorite part of the day?" And Ludwig goes, "Lunch." Dude, oh my god! <laughs> and I, oh I sorry. I'm, I'm laughing really hard. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. And he's like, it is. And then he asked me. Pause, pause, pause. And and then, go around, go around. And then Daniel, Daniel Tosh continues to do the bit where he goes, I once met this girl and I asked her her favorite part of the day. And she said, what'd she say? She, he was like lunch. She, she said lunch. She said lunch. <laughs> and I, I look over at him and he looks at me like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and then he goes on to say, I almost left my wife that night to marry that woman who said lunch. Yeah, that's funny. And yeah. I said, damn, I wish he heard me. Yeah. Well, wait. That was his joke? Uh, it was, he went on to say the best part of the day is sleep and people who get up in the morning and go, wow, I love today or something suck. This is this a comedy show? 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it went into 20 minutes of abortion jokes. Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. Were they funny? Like, yeah. it was, it was, uh, he stole my joke. No, no, yeah. about Jesus? Yeah. He Daniel stole, Cook stole my joke. He stole Daniel Cook? Cook? Sorry, they Daniel sound the Tosh? same. Daniel I also Tosh. get them mixed up. Daniel Tosh stole my joke. Yeah, Tell us about it, OG. Well, we go to see the show, and he says, I'm going to do 20 minutes of abortion material. And then he unironically did 20 minutes of ab abortion material. And his final abortion joke, he said, I've, I wrote the joke to end all abortion uh, conversation. Wow. To unite the left and the right. And it really boils down to one question. When does life begin? And, and I made a joke in college. And I did a stand-up so you can find it out there. Tebby Late Night, Ludwig Abortion. Look that up. <laughs> <laughs> and my joke, right now. <laughs> my joke was, okay, let's rephrase a question. Instead of asking when does life begin, when does it start to count as a threesome? Okay. <laughs> that was my joke. Great joke. He had the same joke, except it was a little more crass because he said it would be weird to jizz on a 14-year-old girl's face. <laughs> And he goes, yeah, he, said jizz, he said jizz on your, on your daughter or your son's face yeah. is 14. Yeah. He says, everyone agrees that'd be weird. And then he goes out and be like, everyone agrees it'd be weird to jizz on a six-year-old. Everyone agrees it'd be weird to jizz on a baby's face. Is it weird to cream pie your beautiful wife when she's pregnant? Yeah. And, and right. the answer's like, oh, it. probably not. So that's, but like, same joke, man. Do you think that if a... <laughs> I'm oh, coming for you! It was funnier when you just did oh it now. What? Like, that joke was just funnier when you did it now. Do you think that being in the womb p protects the idea? Like, if there's, like, a 10-year-old is still in the mother's womb just hanging out like a kangaroo-like mm. pouch? That's... I'm not sure. There's yeah, probably tossed. very few people that would even right. be able to bust also, in that kangaroo, situation. <laughs> kangaroo pouches aren't wombs. Are they not? No. 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 Well, <laughs> I'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're closer to an asshole. No! There's poop in it! <laughs> there's crud in there. I'm it's like the sure. front butt. It's like an enormous belly button, I think. Oh, but and there's crud and tits. belly buttons. Uh, okay, is there milk in it? Yeah. Are you just saying words yeah. you like to say? No, no, he's a scientist, so I'm, I'm no, trusting no, no, no. Is there milk <laughs> in the butt of the guy? Yeah. Okay. No, the, the mom. I think the, the mom. It is the yeah, mom. It is. She's got yeah. mom. She's got, she's got milk in her, what do they call it? Marsupial cooch. Yeah. <laughs> stew. I think it's stew, actually. Or super yeah. stew. God, that's, that, that's why I would make fun of your one of your family members. Said. Oh, I miss her. <laughs> no, I did. Imagine stretching your belly button out and then covering your boobs with it. I think that's kind of what a pouch is. Oh, you can do that but with your nuts. But then it also has... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, imagine stretching the milk in there. Out. You got the milk in there. You just... Yep. And then, yeah, it fills you it up. You look so modest. It's like a tube top. 